Recording. Thank you. The first thing you'll notice when you meet Max is how present he is. He won't be looking at his phone, turning to look at someone as they enter the room, checking the time. No, he'll be looking right at you. His gray eyes relaxed, focused, and gently curious. Whatever you're talking about, that's where his full attention will be. You won't have to guess whether he's interested in the conversation. He'll say if he's not, and he'll do it in a way that respects you. As you talk, you'll notice his torn up shoes, faded earth tone windbreaker, and indestructible workman's khakis. You might not suspect that these accoutrements are deep reflections of who he is, but in an almost ironic way, they are. See, Max doesn't care about how these things look. It's about function over form. Holy sneakers still let him walk mile after mile, run when he needs to run, grip his feet, and protect them from street debris. The pants will tolerate any manner of abuse, kneeling down in workshops, or being worn every day. A little extra heat in the summer is a small price to pay, to never choose what to wear. While others might get joy from the variety and discovery of a new article of clothing, Max prefers the zero-risk, tried-and-true workhorses. What you won't notice, though, is that whatever you throw at him conversationally, he'll understand and be able to riff off of almost instantly. You won't notice because it's so seamless and natural. He'll soon be cracking jokes, seeing offshoots and implications, and making connections to other experiences, all orbiting your topic. The conversation will wind its way towards some unseen destination, and you will suddenly realize how far you've come, just as you would taking a canoe trip in a strong but gentle current on a river. Happy birthday, Max.